everybody and welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, my name is Odessa. I am with the Dinner Tonight program from Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service. And we heard um, from many of our viewers that you guys missed these live videos where we showed you guys our, re our newest recipes and our favorite recipes um, and how you can work them into your life um, for healthy living. So we are back and in 2022, we are committed to bringing you more of these videos. Um, and we are so excited to, to bring you here into our kitchens. There's our rice going off. <laughs> um, and we will talk about that in just a second. But the recipe that I have here for you today is a chicken and broccoli stir fry. It's a super easy recipe. It's very simple, it's very quick. Um, and you're gonna see just how quick and how simple it is today. Um, so I've got some things on the stove already, a little TV magic we're working with. Um, those ingredients we'll talk about in a second. That's our chicken and our broccoli. What I really wanna get us started off talking about today is our sauce, um, right? The secret is in the sauce. And um, that's really gonna be the foundation for where most of the flavor comes from in this dish. Um, and so I really wanna uh, dive into it with you guys. Um, so here is our sauce. I've gone ahead and pre-made it, but again, we're gonna talk about it. And I'm gonna show you a little tip here in a little bit. Um, and really, it's pretty simple. Um, we've got water, we've got cornstarch, which is gonna be our thickening agent for our sauce today. Um, we've got things like sesame oil, um, which is gonna be that delicious, um, healthy fat. And um, it brings this really complex flavor to the dish. We've got sesame oil in there. We've got our sriracha sauce, soy sauce, um, garlic, and ginger. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that in our dish to get that cooking. Um, and then we are gonna dive even deeper into the sauce. And again, I'm gonna show you that trick with fresh ginger. So we will come over here. You can probably see it. All right, nice and steamy. And we will just go ahead and pour that in and let it start cooking, let those flavors start combining, um, and we will discuss the specifics. Here we go. Okay, so what was in our sauce? Again, I told you we had our water, um, really just to kind of give it volume, give it moisture. We had the cornstarch, again, that's gonna thicken up when it's uh, over the stove top. And um, we've got that sesame oil that I mentioned. We've got the sriracha sauce. So again, sriracha sauce, if you've never had it um, or have been wanting to try it, it does pack kind of a punch. So if you're gonna be sharing this recipe or this dish with family members or friends who maybe um, aren't so into the spicy things, you might want to consider cutting down on that um, ingredient and reduce it from two tablespoons to one tablespoon. But if you are into spicy stuff, it does um, bring this really beautiful punch of flavor and spice to the dish. Um, then we've of course got our soy sauce and that is gonna be low sodium soy sauce. Um, so really important to focus on making sure that we're reducing sodium where we can, um, which is also the beauty to making your own sauces at home um, and learning those elements to it is you can help really reduce your intake of sodium and sugar really just by making your own sauces, being able to control what goes into those. Um, so we've got our low sodium soy sauce, we've got minced garlic, and we've got ginger paste. Um, so garlic and ginger are two things that um, are sold in their whole form is garlic cloves, ginger root, which is what we've got here in front of us. Most grocery stores typically have an option for a paste. Um, it'll also be in the produce section usually. Um, which is really handy if you, um, if you know, that's something that you really don't like doing is chopping up garlic all the time or um, chopping up ginger or things like that. Uh, the reason I also like making pastes with the garlic and the ginger is to really help incorporate those flavors into things like sauces. Um, so I find that making pastes out of my garlic and my ginger root um, are work really well for these types of recipes. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the super simple way that I make um, kind of a ginger paste with everything. So um, what you need is a microplane and um, then your piece of ginger. So this ginger root, what I've gone ahead and done is I've pre-rinsed it. Um, I've gotten any kind of loose ginger skin, if you will, off of it. Um, I've gotten any dirt off of it. 
and then cut off any pieces that were um, you previously exposed to air and have started to harden. Uh, so that's really all I've done. And um, what you can do is just uh, go ahead and set up your microplane, which where you want to make sure it's on a, a flat, even surface, um, somewhere where you've got a good grip on it, because most microplanes are very sharp. So we want to make sure that we're being aware in the kitchen when we're using a microplane. Um, so make sure you've got a sturdy grip on it and it's somewhere stable. And all you have to do is take your ginger. And again, I leave the skin on it. Um, I've made sure I've gotten any dirt off and any loose skin off of my ginger root. Um, and some people um, prefer to take the skin off, which is totally fine. It's easy to do with a knife or even a spoon. The skin is really, really soft, um, but I just leave it on. And then you just go ahead and scrape along your microplane and you're left with some beautiful, very, very fine ginger root paste. Um, and that ginger is going to be beautiful and spicy. And because we made it into a paste, it's going to blend really well throughout the stir fry. Um, again, I do this trick with uh, my ginger and my garlic. Um, now, if you've got really small garlic cloves, again, be very aware when you're using your microplane to do this um, because it can, uh, you know, you can get down to your fingers pretty quickly. So just be very aware when you're using a microplane to do either one of these techniques. All right, let's go ahead and um, talk about the other elements in our stir fry. So of course we've got the sauce, which we've spent a fair amount of time discussing, but what else goes into the stir fry? What are we actually stir frying? Um, so we have chicken as our main protein for the stir fry and it's been cooking. Um, we cooked it for about five to 10 minutes just to make sure that all sides of the chicken were um, cooked and there was no longer any pink showing to us. Um, and so we had that cooking on the stove top, like I said, for about five to 10 minutes. Um, so that, that is a really great lean protein choice for a quick, easy meal, a quick, easy dinner. Um, and then we are going to make sure at the very end that our chicken has reached 165 degrees Fahrenheit um, for safe consumption. So in addition to our chicken back there in um, that skillet, we've got our broccoli. So broccoli is a really wonderful winter vegetable. Um, so it's really abundant right now. Um, January is uh, typically one of the harvest times, especially here in Texas. Um, we do grow broccoli here um, in Texas around, I think mostly central Texas, um, but you know, around in, in Texas it's available. And so one of these reasons that this, that broccoli is a really excellent winter vegetable is because it is very high in fiber and it's also high in other things like iron, um, vitamin K, vitamin C, and potassium. Um, and so those are really awesome things to make sure that you're getting in your diet. And we're very lightly cooking the broccoli to make sure that we don't degrade any of those um, vitamins and minerals that are in the broccoli. Um, and broccoli is actually related to the kale family, the cabbage family, the Brussels sprout family, um, which I thought was just a little bit of a fun fact. Um, but I really want to focus in on the fiber as well because that'll come in in another element of the dish later. Um, but most Americans on a consistent basis don't get the amount of fiber they need in their diet. So um, broccoli is a really great way to do that. Um, and again, really complements the lean protein well in this meal um, and uh, is all brought together by the sauce. So let's go ahead and check on our stir fry just to see how it's doing. Perfect. Excellent. All right. Well, it is looking absolutely wonderful if you were able to tell. Um, the sauce has nicely thickened up and it has really coated all of that broccoli and all of that chicken. So what we're gonna do next, I'm gonna clear out some of this out of our way because we don't need it anymore. What we're gonna do next is um, finish off plating up our meal by um, adding some brown rice to it. 
So get our bowl and get our brown rice that's been cooking in the microwave. That's what that little beeping noise has, um, has been in case you've heard it, I apologize. We've got our brown rice and the reason why we've gone with brown brown rice as our selection for our grain for this um, is really because we want to be focusing on whole grains um, so making the switch from um, white rice to brown rice is a really simple way to do that and again we just discussed fiber and how that's really important to the American diet um, and brown rice is an excellent source of Fiber. So this is a super fiber rich meal, protein rich meal that's also super flavorful and is so easy to pull together, really and truly. All right, so now we've got our chicken and broccoli and we will just go ahead and get that plated right up. Looks delicious, very simple, um, yet effective. And we are going to top it with just a little bit of sesame seeds, which is really going to complement that sesame flavor from our sesame oil in our sauce. Um, so this is just a super simple dinner. I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys try this recipe. Please let me know if you do. Um, and if you like it, for sure, let us know. Um, but you can find this recipe and so many more on our website at dinnertonight.tamu.edu. Um, and you can also like us on Facebook if you don't already. We bring you weekly new healthy recipes. Um, we also have an Instagram. Uh, we are also on Pinterest where you can save all of these recipes right to your own Pinterest board so you can find them whenever you need to. And we are on YouTube. Um, so if you like this video and if you want more videos, check us out on YouTube. Have a great day.